attorney that those two teens charged with first degree murder went to this middle school, Bernard Campbell and Lee's Summit. Each of them had two lockers at the middle school, a personal locker and one in the gym. They used those lockers for classes. Police searched through those lockers to try and gather any evidence. We've also learned that at least one of the two teens was on the football team here. Minutes after these images were taken of the two suspects walking into Hy-Vee, records indicate Chamberlain was vacuuming out her car at the Quick Clean Car Wash in Lee's Summit at 1.14 in the morning. At 1.52, the two suspects approach her. At 1.57, Chamberlain gets in the driver's seat. The two suspects also get in the car. At 1.59, the recording stops for daylight saving, and the car hasn't moved. When the camera reboots, the vehicle is gone. People at the school where the boys attended are shocked to hear the details. Oh, wow. Yeah. I had I'd not heard any details. So that's shocking to me for this community. After the suspects were pulled over by police and abandoned the car, police found that the woman was stabbed in the neck, twice in the chest, and she had cuts on her hands, fingers, arms, and face. In the back seat of the car, police found a metal knife covered in blood with what appeared to be the victim's hair. I thought it was very unfortunate. And uh, it's kind of shocking how two eight year or two eighth graders could uh, do something like that. Records show a search of the teens' residences found items of clothing that were consistent with clothing that was observed in surveillance video. When the teens were interviewed by police, the 13-year-old implicated themselves in the stabbing death of the victim. And a few things the records don't answer. What were two teens, ages 13 and 14, doing outside unsupervised at nearly 2 in the morning? We also don't know what they told the victim, and we don't know why she let them get in her car. Reporting live in Lee Summit, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.